folks, how you doing? I'm Richie. This is Six String Fun. Let's get right into this one. Probably one of my favorites off the Born in the USA album from Springsteen. Uh, I know there's a lot of other ones that you probably saw the videos for on MTV back in the 80s. Um, this was just kind of a really dark, haunting tune, Downbound Train. Um, and I'm going to kind of just do it for the acoustic guitar. I mean, I've had a chance to see this played live a couple times. Full band sounds awesome, but I think, you know, sounds great on the acoustic. Um, capo on the, the third fret, a lot of these tunes, um, if it's anything other than C, usually Springsteen went to the capo for different things to play those open chords, which is how this is going to work for this tune. So the chord shape's pretty, I'm going to give you the shapes. I know it's not an E minor, but it's an E minor shape. All right, we got a G shape. I play it this way. Um, you can kind of see that right there. Uh, more of an open G, just to kind of, it's easier with the, a couple walk downs in there. The D shape, there's a C shape in there, and I also throw in a C major 7. I don't know if it's really quite in the tune, but it does give it a little more of that haunting side of things and just some uh, dynamics reasons. So, you know, kind of just spruce it up a little bit, spice it up. So, let's get into it, show you how I do this one. It comes in on the E minor, just kind of that, um, that open 6 string right there. I know it's not an E minor, but it's it's a G minor technically in terms of the tone with the capo, but that's kind of what it is. All right, so it's, and that's really that that, that kind of hitting of the the, uh, the open string. So it's a bit of a walk down there. Open, open, two, three, and that two, three gets you right into that G shape, which is why I tend to do it that way for whatever reason, I just how I do it. So uh, any G should work though. So I kind of go into that full G. Again, dynamics are key when you're just doing the acoustic guitar. To the D shape, which I think is an F in that position right there. So all together, a little one too many uh, open strings there. And what I'm doing there is I'm going to the, that D shape to a suspended four shape. Which I think is really, really key for that, that whole rhythm piece of it. It's all together. And that's gonna continue. And that's pretty much your, your verse. So the intro is also your verse. And we're gonna take that all the way through uh, to that, I don't, there's really no pre-chorus, but it's kind of going into the chorus where we go into that first C shape, which is that C major, which is really C major seven, I think it is. So basically we're taking a C shape right there, and I'm just taking my index finger off it to get that string open. So full C would be this, which we're gonna end up doing. But we're gonna start with this one right there, okay? So if we're coming out of the verse, it'll sound like this. Hold that for two measures, I think. E minor shape. We're gonna repeat the same, at least the, the, the first part of it, but we're gonna do a full C to a D shape again. And we're gonna flip flop these two chords. Instead of a um, E minor D, we're gonna go D, um, e, excuse me, E minor to the D for this one, where the previous was D to E minor. So let's put it all together. Kind of how that should go. Do it again. At least that's how I hear it. Um, I know if I'm wrong, you'll let me know, which is cool. We got like 90% of the song right there now. So we're going to go back into the verse. All right, go through it. We're going into the, cor uh, the chorus again. All right. And then you kind of get into, uh, there's a bit of an organ solo in there, I guess it is. And um, 
I believe it's, well, I guess you can kind of do whatever you want at this point. It's either going to be the verse or the chorus, and now I don't know off the top of my head. So uh, I'm going to roll the dice. It's a 50-50 shot here. Uh, I'm going to go with the verse. Pretty sure it's the verse. So we got that. We're going to come out of the solo, and we're going to continue playing the same uh, pattern, which is the verse. But the dynamics come down. So if you're kind of playing this throughout most of the song this way. Dynamic speaking, I would just maybe kind of... And I think the uh, the, the, the chorus, uh, the, the line for the verse is, Last night I heard your voice. So you kind of get... So dynamics, big thing. Actually, it's a really big part of the song, I think. So we're going to go there. The very last part of this particular verse, uh, if we're coming out of the heat, which we know, the G shape we know, the D. And I dropped to my knees on my head and cried. So all we're doing is adding a C and a G shape. Okay? And it goes right back into the last. As we go out, the whole outro is um, the verse pattern again. And um, the cool thing about, well, not particularly the album version, but the live version, because I remember seeing it at Giant Stadium. Yes, Giant Stadium. Uh, I guess it was 2003 on those one of those 10 nights there. I think it was 10 nights at the stadium. Uh, he played this, and it was just kind of like he kind of had a solo at the end, and it was nothing major. You know, it's kind of playing like the, the G minor or that minor pentatonic shape, and it just kind of seemed really cool there so that's really it that's your tune pretty straightforward hopefully you enjoyed it if you haven't done so you know please like subscribe uh, that's all i could ask for you to do it really would be great it just helps me out and i will see you on the next video take care